Hi everybody, uh, W4MRW here and uh, recently just acquired the uh, Yaesu FTM400D and also the Yaesu FT1D uh, which are both digital analog transceivers so I wanted to give a little demonstration uh, at least of the uh, 400D here so let's go ahead and uh, turn it on Okay, so here we go. Uh, has a uh, dual band uh, up on the top there. I'm dialed into 147.525, and you'll notice right now that the uh, mode is FM, but we have the little red dash there above the FM indicating uh, that it can detect whether I'm receiving a digital voice or an FM signal. So let me go ahead and power up the FT1D here. Okay, and for now we're going to put that on FM so you can hear the difference to, between the uh, the audio quality. So um, I'm just going to step away here and uh, key up. This is Whiskey 4, Mike Romeo Whiskey, W4MRW on FM mode. Okay, now we're on digital, and so you'll have noticed that uh, the mode has switched from FM to DN to indicate that we're on digital mode, and here's the uh, difference in audio quality, and I'm going to switch back to FM. And now we're back on FM, and the, uh, as you can tell, there's quite a difference in the audio quality, and the display should also be indicating we're back on FM mode. Now everything obviously on this radio, for the most part, is uh, touch screen. So if we click on the display here, that takes us into the uh, setup menu, where we can set up the display, uh, signaling, signaling, this is where you do your tones, uh, the new Wise X, APRS, transmit and receive options, scan options, some additional configuration options, uh, memory, um, GM, which is a globe, uh, group mode uh, for digital, we'll get into that in a minute or in a future video, um, data options, uh, additional options and you also need to set your call sign on this particular radio. So one thing if we go back to our main display here, when I was in uh, digital mode you'll have also seen my call sign come up, so let's do that again. So there you go, We've got W4MRW7, which is for the uh, FT1D here. So another thing we can do is we can go into um, group mode. So let's go into that. So now it's sending out a signal uh, looking for anybody else who's also in group mode, and uh, it'll let me know um, if they're within uh, local range. So I'm going to put the um, FT1D here into group mode as well. and in a minute you should see coming up on the screen, there we go. So W4MRW-7 is within range. Um, if we were outside and had GPS, if I was to click on that, so click on display on that, you would see uh, my compass heading, how far away I am, and everything else like that. So you could navigate to my position. So let's go back to display. And for now, let's just go ahead and turn group mode off and go back to the main screen. Um, also has a scope. So if I key up over here, you should see my signal. There we go. Let's turn that off. Okay, so uh, that's just a really quick overview of the new FTM-400D from Yesu, uh, and for those who are interested, I'll also show you the FT1D here. Here we go. A nice little compact radio, very slim. And it also has uh, 
GPS built in for APROS. Okay, so uh, I'll figure out what I want to show in the next couple of videos here and dive into those details. This is W4MRW.